vectors in R3. A parallelopiped is determined by the vectors OA minus 3, 2, 5, OB 0, 4, 1, and OC 0, 6, minus 1. Draw and sketch the parallelopiped formed by the given points. Determine the coordinates of all the vertices for the parallel pipet. So let's try to understand how to draw a parallel pipet. Well, we have seen already how to draw a rectangular prism with given position vectors. Now, in a parallel pipet, all the faces are parallelogram. Remember that. So we will sketch the three vectors and try to form a parallel pipet, remembering that all faces should be parallelogram. Right? So that's the strategy. So let me make the axis here first. So this is our axis in R3. And then we will plot the vectors. So let me use colored pens. OA. OA is minus 3, 2, 5. Minus 3, let's say 1 unit, 2 unit, and 3 units. So this is your x minus 3 will be on the other side of x so minus 3 and then 2 is going up 1 unit or uh, 2 is left and 2 is going towards the y which is 1 and 2 and then 5 going up so we have 1 2 3 uh, there's less space so we'll just think that this is my 5. So ultimately I have a vector here. So OA is a line joining origin to the point A which is minus 3 to 5. So let me join this point. So that is my vector A. Now OB is 0, 4, 1. 0, 4, 1. Let me take another ink here 0 along x and 4 along y so let's say 1 2 3 4 and then 1 up so that is 1 up so we get this vector OB now OC is 0 6 minus 1 so 0 and 6, so we are already here at 4, 5 and 6, and 1 down towards minus z, right? So that is the vector OC. So we have our vectors here, which are OA, OB, and OC. So this is origin O, this is our x-axis, that is y, z-axis, and this is y. So let me it will come in the center. Let me write y here. Okay. So these are our x's. Now what we need to do is draw a parallelogram using these three vectors. So all the sides of the vectors, all the sides of the parallelogram will be parallel to these vectors. So what we can do is we can draw vectors parallel to this. So let's draw a vector parallel to OA from OB. So that should be a line like this right kind of let's go up like this do you see that so I may run out of space here but but I think you get an idea of how to do it so we'll draw from from point C a vector parallel to OA parallel to and equal to OA so we have this vector here so that is how at present we have drawn three parallel to OA there should be four right of each kind so let's go in steps so that's easier for us to draw now let's connect some of the vectors and let's draw parallel to OC so OC is here so it could be from here to this place that is OC similarly from here we'll draw OC so we get this right and then let's draw vectors parallel to OB. So OB is here. So that gives you one there, one there, and one there, right? 
and then the missing vectors. So, so the fourth one, which will be along OA, you can connect now like this. Do you see that? And one there joining, do it dotted line. So that is the parallel pipette which we have. So it's not it's not bad, but it just gives you an idea how to draw it. So if you do with a scale, it could be a much better job. Now O to A, let's label that. So O to A is this vector for us. O to B was this vector, and O to C is this. Now we know the points. O A is minus three to five, right? And we know the points for O B. 0, 4, 1 and OC is 0, 6, minus 1. So OC is 0, 6, minus 1. OB is 0, 4, 1 and OA is minus 3, 2, 5. So I'll not give you all the points but you can do that job uh, very well. Now what you can do here is that how to get the other points. So for example you can start from one place and keep on adding. You know these vectors are parallel. So OC is 0, 6, minus 1. We have B here which is 0, 4 and 1. Now to get this point you can say this point is OB plus OC, right? OB plus OC. So you can add these up to get to this point. Do you get it? So, so this point should be equals to when we add this up we will get 0 4 plus 6 10 and 1 minus 1 0 so like this you can keep on adding them so if you have to go from here to here then you have to add minus 3 to 5 and you'll get this point correct so to 0 6 minus 1 add minus 3 to 5 so it would be minus 3 and when you add 2 to this you get 8 and 5 minus 1 is 4 so you get this point right so similarly if you have to find this point then you have OA plus OB so that gives you this point right so that point should be equal to let me add this and so this we are adding OA to OB, so it's minus 3 and 0 will give us minus 3. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 5 plus 1 is also 6. So that helps you, right? So keep on adding the points to get the next point. Now this point should be, we are already here with minus 3, 8, 4, and we need to go in this direction, which is the direction of OB. So we will add 0, 4, 1 to this and get our point. And this point should be minus 3, 4 and 8 is 12, and 1 and 4 is 5. Do you see that? So, so we get this point. So like this, we can get all our points, right? And then you can all, of course, label it. We already have A, B, C, and then we can write D, E, F, and G. So you get your parallel and you get all your points as shown here. It's kind of not very neat, but it's not bad either. But anyway, I think you understand the concepts. Now, important things here is sketch your vectors with different inks so that you can see it, because at times it could be very confusing. Second thing which I think is you should have more space, like I really ran out of space. And you may not be able to see some of these things on my screen also. So, uh, have more space to draw it. And that's kind of very critical. And what you have to do is, you have to ensure that every face is a parallelogram. Right? Uh, that will give you a good parallel pipette. But I hope you get the concept and, and you can draw a much better parallel pipette than what I have done here. Thank you and all the best.